Hello friends, this video on molecular basis of inheritance part 34 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We are now going to talk about a very important topic that is human genome project. So basically this is about a project which is doing a lot of research trying to understand the exact DNA sequences in the human genome. So let us try to understand what it is. Now, before we talk about the Human Genome Project, let us first talk about the concept of genetic makeup. So, what comes to your mind when you think of the term makeup? Makeup is like uh, maybe decorating yourself. Like mostly the females, they use so much of uh, makeup materials to look better, right? So, that is the kind of makeup which you can think of. But when we talk about genetic makeup, it is about the genetic constituent of each and every individual. Now, you would have observed that all individuals look different. Like if you look at yourself and your friends uh, or your cousins, they all look different. I mean, you are not exactly similar to anybody. I mean, except for the scenario of identical twins. Otherwise, nobody looks exactly identical. So it, you might have certain similarities with your siblings, but still there are differences. So you are able to recognize one person as different from that of another. So what causes this difference between two individuals? So any two individuals differ because their DNA sequences differ. So the DNA which is present inside each and every cell of their body, so the sequence in the DNA, when I say sequence, what I mean? The sequence of the bases. So since the sequence of bases is differing in each of them, therefore the traits are also differing and that is why they look different because end of the day, the DNA decides the phenotypic characters of an individual. So if you talk about the look of a person, the features, immunity, etc., they are all determined by the genes and genes are nothing but the sequences on DNA. So we can say that DNA sequences makes each individual different. So because of this, scientists decided to sequence the human DNA. So higher techniques needed were needed for the same. But it was, worth under, it was worth to understand the genetic makeup because this would help in curing or preventing several diseases. Now one such example of a disease like cancer which can be genetically inherited. So if the actual cause of such diseases can be determined by looking at the DNA sequences then such diseases can be prevented. In fact not only prevented they can be cured as well. So they felt that the amount of time or the amount of money that would be spent by while doing this research of the sequencing human DNA will be worth it. So that is how started this entire human genome project. So it was a mega project. Mega is something extremely big, extremely large because this project happened on a very large scale because you, we will get to see now what were the goals of this project and what was the scope for this project. So we'll get to know that how big was the aim of this project and how difficult it was. So obviously it was a very big project, a mega project and determination of human DNA sequences was the basic aim of this project and for that several genetic engineering techniques were being utilized and me during this project during the while this project was going on several new techniques came up came up because of advancement in technology there were many different fields related to genetics like genetic engineering bioinformatics they came into picture and they all helped uh, the human genome project towards a successful end. So let us see how difficult was this project of human genome understanding. Now we all know that each cell in the human body has 23 pairs of chromosomes. That means there are a total of 46 chromosomes in each cell. So these are the 46 chromosomes and in each of these chromosomes there are thousands of genes which are located on them. So 
the haploid human genome so when you say human genome it refers to the haploid set of human chromosomes so the haploid human genome contains 3 billion base pairs because as we all know that on each chromosome we have thousands of genes and what are genes genes are nothing but they are present on the sequences of dna so each dna strand again will have so many base pairs so there is a total of 3 billion base pairs in each human cell so you can just understand how big was the project and that is why it was termed as a mega project now understanding or determining the sequence of 3 billion base pairs was not at all an easy task so when i say the sequencing what i what do i mean it is like the sequencing which is present on uh, a DNA strand, for example, A, G, T, C, A, T, C, G. So this sequencing basically. So now when you have 3 billion base pairs, so obviously your sequencing is going to be really, really long. So there were many difficulties because of this um, huge aspect of the project and the first thing was cost. The cost for sequencing one base pair was approximately 3 US dollars. So if you want to sequence all the base pairs, that means if you want to sequence 3 billion base pairs, then the cost would be around 9 into 10 to the power 9 US dollars, So, which is a very huge amount. So cost was one parameter information storage now even if we sequence the base pairs so how are we going to store that information now if we start printing the dna sequences and start keep storing them in the form of books there will be almost around 3300 books and each book of 1000 pages so can you imagine if you start piling up 3300 books one above another where each book is of 1000 pages so that height of that pile is going to be almost as tall as a multi-story building. So and there is no point storing information in the form of books because it becomes extremely difficult to store it. It is absolutely not possible. So to store such huge amount of data fast and highly efficient computational devices are needed. So that was yet another difficulty. Also high efficient devices were needed for data analysis so even if you start sequencing so you also need to gen decipher the genetic code and for deciphering the information you need good data analysis tools so that way is also some technology was required and since the entire process is quite complicated and lengthy so technical advantage would always be preferred so these were some of the challenges uh, in front of this human genome project now, what were the goals of the Human Genome Project? Why was this project being done? Like, it was definitely being done in order to know the DNA sequences in case of human beings so that uh, diseases can be cured, diseases can be prevented. More knowledge on how DNA sequencing is done in a human body can be understood. So, all those aims or all those purpose of doing of Human Genome Project is clear but what was the goal of this project what were they trying to uh, conclude at the end of this project so some of the goals of human genome project were to identify the genes in human dna that is what are the genes which are present in human dna and what do those genes actually represent so what do they actually code for so that was one of the goals to determine the sequences of 3 million base pairs that form the human DNA. As I said, there were 3 billion base pairs and they wanted to understand the sequence, like how exactly the base pairs are being arranged. To store the information, so whatever information is received or whatever sequencing knowledge is obtained that has to be stored somewhere and also to analyze the data. That means not only getting the sequences of DNA, but also deciphering it, also trying to understand which part of DNA uh, is coding for what and what is its significant. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.